I've been driving around in my car for about nearly a year now, 17,000 miles, and all of a sudden, a smell has started coming into the vents. At first I thought maybe it was my baby who might have pooped her pants or threw some old food. Could have been my dogs. Maybe their hair is just kind of like not that maybe fresh. Or it could have been my fiance just secretly tooting the back. I have no idea, but I came across a video that helped me significantly. It actually had to do with my AC. The filter over time, I've driven this car on multiple road trips and I've driven across back and forth Washington, Vegas, Washington, California, Vegas, California, back and forth. And it's probably brought a lot of dirt and dust and all the other stuff in. I came across the video and it really detailed out what I need to do and how easy it is. Now, after watching the video, I don't think it was that easy. I was like, I cannot do this. This is gonna be way too much work. It's gonna be hard. But luckily, the videos made it super easy. So my whole general idea now is to make this video super easy for you guys to understand on how to do this and how simple it can be. It is currently 107 degrees out here in Las Vegas and I am about to start sweating up a storm, but I'm gonna do this as fast as I possibly can and hopefully the cameras don't die out by the heat or myself. So the first step is prying open the side panels. So this has the tools in it, so let's get started. The packaging on this thing is so nice. So we have this green, little pick just to help take out, you know, all those little bolts and then to even pry open the side panel. Just so you know what they look like, they're these little things right here. They kind of pop out easily, but you still want to be very careful because this holds the panel that holds the light in the speaker. All four taken out. And I'm, I am sweating so bad right now. Oh my goodness. Do this in a nice cool area. If you got a nice garage, do it. Just little clips that are there. You gotta be very careful on, just so you don't, there we go. So now, as you see, this all came down and they always mention there's these things that you just pull out and they're pretty easy to pull out. You just have to clip. Okay, for the speaker, what you're gonna wanna do is actually use this tool to pry it up, go as far as possible, and then it pops up. Don't try and force it out with anything else. This will help the most, and uh, yeah. It says start at the front and slowly pry towards the back. Oh, there we go. Now I just gotta work my way down to the back. So that's out. If you do it slowly, it should all work. So right here I got the panel off being very careful, but these are the clips that are there. So it's okay to pull them out. So just know that if it pops and they're still there, that's okay. We're almost done. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. That's ripping apart because my lack of knowledge and strength there we go, fixed it. Got the whole panel off and that's what it should look like. So it turns out I did kind of ruin it, I think, cause there's this part stuck right there, right there. That's the part that was hard to take off, which belongs right here. So I'll just keep it there and hopefully we can get it set back. Actually, I'll set it back. And I have the 2022 model. I got mine in August 2022. And uh, that's where it is. So there's a little clip that you see here that goes to the very top. And then there's this part that is screwed in. And now it's time to pull out these bad boys. They're stacked on top of each other. So let's see how dirty these bad boys are. I wonder if they're that bad. I haven't checked them out. Oh my goodness. I don't know if these were white before or not. I just want to smell it. So here's the part that I think is going to be probably the most challenging, and that is uh, doing this. Now, the first challenging part was taking off that panel, and I did ruin one of my clips, but that had to do with me not knowing what I was doing compared to just trying to think strength was going to win. Uh, I definitely won, but my car has now some sort of damage that I don't think is actually going to matter because it's at a place that won't matter. But let's see how we do. So the first step you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is open up this bad boy, this Kool-Aid. There is other third parties, so you don't have to get this brand. 
but if you want to, you can. I found it at O'Reilly's for like 13 bucks. It was like nearly almost $10 cheaper than what it was online. So I encourage you to go to your local O'Reilly's and see if they got it. I will leave a link down below if you do want to order on Amazon. And even if it is a little bit more expensive, I do believe in quality. And if people are using it, then I also want to, and that's the power of branding. I'm gonna spray literally this entire bottle, shake well. I'm gonna use the spout to actually go into there. So that way it could be cleaned. So it's gonna be hard to see. I don't know how much I could get, but I know there's some sort of a vent in there. Like I could feel on this side, like closer this way where you're gonna to wanna to spray. I don't know if I get back there, especially with my phone and stuff, but just know that you just spray the entire thing, it'll all foam up, and you gotta let it sit for about 15 minutes. So let's attempt to do this. So now, let's get to work. I think that's it. That spray is so fast and it smells minty. That's kind of nice. So now we're just gonna let it sit for 15 minutes, turn on the air for five and then put the new filters in and then call it good. dry it out real quick so on high let's get it you might not want to be in the car I'm just gonna step out just in case it's like too chemically but yeah now these literally come like easy as possible tab goes on the outside as it came out there's also signage on here that shows you which way to face it so right here this blue side will be facing the front of the car so when you're installing it it should look like this when you put it in and drop it down tabs up here same thing with this one there's gonna be nothing else different you just tab stack on top of each other screw everything back in let's get to work it's very tight i'll tell you that much same thing here we are going to pull down this tab put this behind it force this to the front here so now we're going to take this piece and we're going to click it upwards so this of course checker side whatever it is goes on the outside we're going to clip it up and then screw it in on the very bottom and this part is actually so much easier than i thought it was going to be this is probably the easiest part the hardest part might be putting the panels back on because i need to know exactly where they go but that's it make sure everything else is tight that I accidentally loosened. So this is the part that I actually kind of broke right here. It's on the very bottom middle. So just know that when it asks you to take it from the front to the back to actually do that. And if it's not really pulling, don't pull it extra hard because I actually ruined mine by doing that. I'm pretty sure I could order another side panel, but it's kind of inconvenient. I don't think it's gonna ruin the entire thing. I still got all these clips that surround it, these middle ones. So I'm hoping this doesn't really affect it too much. And better news, I did bend it downwards and I clipped this back on. I don't think it's gonna work too much, but at least it's a piece that's there now. So that piece right there in the middle is the broken one. I really, really, really wanna try and put that one in first because I do not want any issues leading up to that. So I'm gonna push that in first. Now these are all kind of lined up and you'll hear them pop as they kind of go in and like it's actually a lot simpler than i thought it was going to be <laughs> i just got to kind of kick it in there i think <laughs> probably not the right way you gotta give it some tough love you know now let's take this piece clip these back in here so this is for the light that will go in like so the light is working still, we are good. And this is for the speaker, which I think goes in just like so. 
Bam. As you can probably hear, these are kind of clipping in together. Thank you.